And folks, if you look down the bottom left of your screen, you see that countdown clock, 40 seconds. When it gets to 30 is when the, the race words can then start to leave uh, the milling zone where they are right now. You can see they're all lined up by lane. And that's how you have to do it. Eric Stark in lane one, getting ready to go. Alongside him is uh, going to be uh, Yusuf Al Abdul Razak in the middle lane. Again, the Razak attack, as they as they love to call him. And then Katie Munnings on the outside. And this is where Katie, uh, if she was watching, uh, obviously that move by Chris Ladaraga might be what she wants to do here. And we'll see if she plays that out. Here we go. They are all even as we get to the start shoot. And away we go. And right there, Katie dropping back just a little bit. And maybe she's saving uh, her boost for, yes, and she did. Look at this. She waited. The others used their boost up early. Here comes Katie. And uh, Drogba answering. Yusabal Abdul Razak, but Katie has the nose ahead. Can she make it work around the outside? She's Ooh, giving it a little bit of space. Ooh, tight. That Three abreast at the exit of, of turn two. That's extraordinary. Really, really well done. But again, it's actually the inside line that's paid off the dividends in this occasion. But there's still all three race birds really, really close. So not just the first corner, this second set of corners now also going to be crucial to how much pace and, and, and gap you can build. And you can see Eric Stark, his comfort in that, that reduced visibility. When they came into turn two, you couldn't even see him. And he squared up, shot through underneath, and got to the inside. That is the experience showing right there. A little bit of a margin he's built up. And then we've got uh, Al Abdul Razak sitting there in second. And here in that third spot right now uh, is uh, Katie Munnings. And she is working it really difficultly right now. But the problem is, out front, you can see Eric starting to build a little bit of a margin. Which is exactly what he needed to do. That Team Miami had one decision, they, one thing they had to do in this semi-final, and that was get in the lead and win. Because it's the only, it's exactly what they have to do in order to keep any dream alive. Uh, and and this got, is chopping and changing crazily. Yeah, but we've got now an announcement. Both Team Miami and Team Drogba, a long lap penalty. Oh boy, it's uh, happening here, and it was a false start penalty. So, I'm not sure how that played out, to us, but it doesn't matter. They each get a long lap penalty for Team Miami and Team Drogba, so that suddenly puts Katie Munnings in Team Brazil if she can stay close in the catbird seat here. Let's take a look at that start and see if we can figure out where the false start would go. It might be that they just got there too soon. Watch it here. Yeah. It may be that they just got there a little bit too soon. And Katie taking advantage right there. That must have been it. They must have nipped through that start line by just that much yeah. too soon here. And here we go. Team Miami, Eric Stark heading off on his first of two long laps here. And as he went into it, he had about a five second lead. De definitely not as much as Team Brady had in the previous semi-final. And you can see they're maybe going to lose both both for first and second position here coming out the long lap, knowing they have another one to do. Yes, their Team Miami had to do the, Team Drogba had to do the same as well. But, you know, let's remind ourselves how these work in the semi-finals, the combined standings. It's about the finishing position of both pilots in the race boats across all of the semi-finals and it gets you the points to get into the finals where ultimately the points towards the end of the weekend are given. That's how it works. Right. And right now, obviously, we're only going to see these three because they're the only ones that have now uh, started the second half of their uh, semi-final rounds here. So that's what's going to show right now. Uh, but up right now, Drogba really doing a nice job. Yusuf Al Abdul Razak uh, understanding his mission here sets a really quick first sector here trying to build up as much margin as he can and now you look at these combined standings team miami current anakin kind of looking on there in in despair knowing that the combined standings gives them third which doesn't give them a good position and the points that they need to keep this championship alive keep the fight to team brady this is a disaster for team miami well, it is. Remember, from what we understand, in that first semifinal, because of the contact with the smart mark, 
not only uh, they got a did not finish, but almost a did not start as a result. That was a zero point. So, uh, you know, they absolutely had to have a, uh, a win here from Eric and some problems for some other of these race birds here. And uh, Eric doing everything he can right now. But I'll tell you, when Yusuf Al Abdul Rizak, I mean, he's got that Rizak that nickname for a reason. When he feels it, he feels it. Unfortunately, right now, Anna is just feeling, as you said, anguish. She's just going, come on, buddy, find it. And if anybody can, it'll be her. Yeah, I mean, it's, the pressure is on. There's a lot of weight on those shoulders sitting in that cockpit right now, knowing what's happened. They needed to have the performance of their life, and they needed their main competitor, Team Brady, to have trouble. And the absolute opposite has happened. Team Brady are flying ahead, and Team Miami could not have had worse luck. And right now, both Yusuf Al Abdul Razak and Eric Stark have done one of their long laps. Katie Munning sits in second. And she uh, only has one to do. She's not done it yet, but she is, has the standard long lap. But Yusuf Al Abdul Razak right now, uh, he's completed one long lap, and he's got a 10 second lead over Katie Munnings. That would make them near dead hit even coming out of the merge. You know, and as, as Anna said herself, it's not over to the fat lady sings. Yep. Um, and there is, like you said, eight seconds between each of the three pilots in this semi-final and that's a much smaller deficit than we had in the previous semi-final we were looking at or up to 20 seconds yeah. so it isn't over yet no and i think much this closer. is going to be really really close here at the merge as yusef now doing his second the penalty long lap and keep your eye here on katie munnings and uh, where they end up, this is about as close as we've seen coming out of the merge. The two of them in really, really close concert and just enough done here by Katie Munnings to be able to hang on to the lead by two seconds out of that merge. So really, really close here. And Yusef now has to absolutely drop the hammer. And that's got Brazil in the combined standings up top at this moment in this one. So. Again, if you have um, the best three uh, finishers in terms of winners of each of the combined semifinal rounds, if you will, go straight to the final. The highest placed seconds of those will go to the uh, the semi or the finals as well. That's what everybody's kind of fighting for right now in terms of especially Team Miami. Yeah, and it's all about like that combined standing, those combined points. You know, is the points that Team Dropper and Team Brazil uh, can, and Team Miami can secure enough? to do, you know, essentially what you're looking at now is you want Miami just to get in that second spot to try and do the best, do what they can with the points available. But really, this is a show. This is the Team Brazil show. It and, is. You know, we've talked about the, the top two in the standings, but there's such a small amount of points between third and seventh that this is already going to have championship ramifications. Absolutely. And now Katie Munnings in the lead, but now starting her standard long lap. Everybody has to do at least one, and uh, she's going to go for it right now. Now, uh, Yusuf Abdul Razak is going with her. Or so this is inside. an absolute race, and Eric Stark, this is going to be really close. That's done. That's a great. He's done very, very well there. He wow. got the two, the two long laps done early to now just be focused on managing and trying to keep that position, knowing that both teams behind have also done their long laps. This could be the finishing. Yeah, Anna Glennon ecstatic there, as you can imagine, because that does. I mean, it's good for Look position. It. Ultimately, combined standings. And both of them on their knees uh, as a result of that. Look at that. This is just stunning here. And uh, Eric Stark just, just was in, sort of in hiding there, wasn't he? And absolutely flying right now. And taking that, uh, that win. It was all done on the last lap, folks. It was that close. Officially, Stark winning by 2.5 seconds with Yusef Al Abdul Razak, another um, four seconds adrift. That's really, really close. And there's Anna just uh, overwhelmed, really, by what uh, Eric did here. The question is will it be enough? 